Hi, I'm Dick Ite from Bites by Ite. We cater to an elite clientele in, along the eastern seaboard, from Manhattan to Greenwich to Nantucket, down to Florida to Boca Raton, Vero Beach, and we're based in Atlanta, Georgia. We cook high quality food of restaurant quality, and today we're gonna to show you how you do it. We are doing some of our fan favorites, the best bites that we offer. So let's begin and get the show on the road. So, we're gonna be doing a lobster and brie flatbread. Big fan favorite. Then we're doing a vegan flatbread. So instead of cheese, we're gonna use almond butter and vegetables, red peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, squash. So let's get started. Here we go. So we're first gonna take the lobsters and cut them out of the shell, and then we'll saute them in butter. We won't saute them long, and we'll saute them on a low temperature so they stay a little bit softer and not rubbery and hard. We'll cook them about uh, three quarters of the way through, and then we'll put them on the flatbreads and finish them off there. So there's one. And we take, the, I use, just use uh, cooking shears and cut along the outside and the sides of it all the way to the tip of the tail and then do the other side. And the lobster meat comes right out, as you can see, very easily out of the shell. A little wiggle at the end and there you go. Two lobster tails ready to go. I think two, almost a stick of butter is enough. I'll get this melted. In the meantime, we'll cut the brie so we can put the brie underneath the lobster. And all you really need, you don't want thin pieces. I'd say that's at least a half an inch thick. And three pieces on the flatbreads will be enough. They can fit there and there. And maybe put a little bit here, a little bit here and a little bit there. So, there you go. Okay, so the butter is melting. I'll turn down the heat a little bit. Another minute or so for that. And then we'll put the lobsters in there and saute. I'll take this out. We'll save this for later. We're gonna cook the, uh, the dough here. So I'm gonna put this in the oven on the baking steel. Remember, this is uh, about half an inch thick. It weighs 22 pounds. It gets up to temperature and it provides a super crust for the flatbreads. I can hear the uh, butter sizzling, so I'll turn down the heat and we'll put the lobsters in. I'll cook these just a couple of minutes. And uh, in the meantime, we'll get this flatbread ready to go. Put the tomato sauce, again, it's vegan. Once this cooks and forms a nice crust, I'll come back and cook it the second time with the almond butter. So that's all we're gonna put on this is just the tomato sauce. And those will cook maybe for five minutes tops. So you can see a nice little color on the lobster, so I'll flip it over. And when that's done, I'll flip it on the side and the other side, so this will be cooked in less than five. So now that we have the lobsters sauteing in butter, lots of butter, we'll start on the vegetables and we'll roast those, saute those. 
Again, we'll add the Calavito extra virgin olive oil to it. A nice coating. We will season our vegetables. Cut these into thirds. Take your time, there's no rush. A little pepper, a little sea salt, and they're ready to go in. We'll come back over with some more seasonings on the vegetables. And sea salt. Check on the lobsters, give them one more flip. So now that they've cooked on all four sides. Check on the flatbreads. They're coming up nicely. These are ready to come out. That needs just a few more minutes. And in the meantime, we can put the brie down. Now this with the brie, it definitely will ooze out. So many a times in the oven, I put down a nice sheet pan like this. So when it oozes down, comes out, it doesn't start smoking up the, uh, your kitchen. So I'll put this back in once we get the lobster out and we'll put that down. And lobsters are ready to go. So let's take these off the heat. Nice coloring on that. Give it one more flip. And then we'll cut these into small little medallions. So these are, are gonna be bite-sized pieces. So when we cut the lobster, we're gonna cut it down the brie and then this way. So when we put the, uh, the lobster on and cut it, that's one piece right there. So the cutting of the lobster are just individual pieces. You don't want it too big. It's just a little popper of a lobster. So we just tuck it along the side here, along the brie. Cut this one in half, it's a little bit too big. And there we go. And if you notice that they're all in a row here, and they're all in a row this way, so that when we cut them, you just cut it along here, cut it along there, and then you have your um, uh, a nice little flatbread with brie. And there we go. That one's ready for the oven to come back in. Let's check on the vegetables. I think they need a flip. Cooking nicely. Yep. Yeah. Getting a little brown. So when we do our, our parties for our clients, many times they say, I'm a vegan, I have vegan clients. So we have about a dozen or so items that we can make. This is probably our most popular item that we do, the flatbreads. And again, instead of cheese, we use the almond butter. You can use cashew butter, um, peanut butter I, I wouldn't use, but either of these two. It, uh, and it has the, the, the flavor of a cheese, and, and people love it. So We also get a lot of requests for gluten-free, and I use gluten-free doughs, uh, either a zucchini-based or cauliflower-based zucchini. Uh, gluten-free, which is quite nice. Okay, let's check on the other flatbread. Uh, yep, a nice crust on that. That one's ready to go. And let's take the vegan cheese, AKA 
almond butter and add this schmear to the flatbread. It will heat up, it will melt a little bit, and it will be a little bit gooey, resemble some cheese. And again, I always take it out to the very edges because I use all of this real estate for the flatbread. I don't do a crust. Uh, the crust or the crunchiness is on the bottom of the flatbread. And that one's ready to go, awaiting the vegetables. And I think the vegetables are ready. Okay, so now we've finished with the vegetables and we'll assemble the vegan pizza and uh, the lobster and brie pizza. We'll put those back in the oven, cook them, get them nice and crispy and bring them out and cut it and plate it. So here we go. Again, we have the um, almond butter. So we'll put down some, we'll make this nice and pretty and colorful. And there we go with squash, zucchini, red peppers. And I like to mix it up so when you cut into it, you get some nice things. I think we can add some nice tomatoes to it because who doesn't like tomatoes? And you can see how high this is. And the crust is probably, oh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And the vegetables are the toppings it's probably 2x. So if it's 1x for the crust, it's 2x for the vegetables. We're using the entire flatbread. Uh, so when you, you can eat less of the carbs, less of the pizza dough, of the flatbread dough, less of uh, if there's any cheese on it. And so it's healthier for you, okay? So both these are ready to go. We'll put these back in the oven. We'll crisp them up even more and take them out. They'll go in for maybe three to five minutes, okay? Okay, so now the flatbreads have been in for about three, four minutes, starting to melt, so I put that pan on the bottom to catch any drippings so it won't smoke and uh, keep the kitchen clear. So let's go and take these bad boys out. Look at that lobster one, huh? So I'll first take out the vegan one. So I don't want to mix up the vegan with any kind of seafood or meat. Take that out. And now we'll go with the brie and the lobster. There we go. A beautiful brie and lobster flatbread ready to be cut. These are some of our fan favorites. I would say that this lobster and brie pizza is our ultimate fan favorite. Uh, flatbread and pizza, people just can't get enough of that. And again, a lot of our clients are vegan or vegetarian, and uh, this is quite spectacular. You can see the uh, almond butter is starting to ooze off the sides here. We'll flip this around, take a look at the back. And you can already hear that crunch on the, the crust. And there it is melting off there. So let's plate this one up and we'll do the vegan first. And then we'll come back with the lobster. So wait for the crunch, you'll hear it. There you go. Crunch again. And cut bite-sized pieces. And there we go. And then I'll reassemble when it's on here. And I can put some more of the other vegetables on top. So you get a little bit of everything on there. There's the little zucchini and squash. You can see the almond butter and look at that. Now, sometimes I'll put an herb on there 
Not a bad way to go. A little bit of dill. Add some great color to it. And uh, some fresh flavor. Again, the flatbreads that I do are unusual and different. But one thing in common, they love them. Uh, it's not unusual for myself and my staff to get standing ovations when uh, we finish a party. Uh, because we do it differently, we bring all of the equipment, all of the food to our clients' homes, prepare it, cook it, serve it, and we clean everything up. So our hosts and hostesses love that they don't have to do any work. Okay, so there we go with the vegan flatbread. And now let's cut up the lobster. Slide this guy around. Cut it right down the middle. Again, you hear a nice crunch to it. And you can see how the, the flatbreads are set up. So everyone gets a bite of the brie and everyone gets the lobster, an entire bite. So I'll take this off. A little bit of the brie melted and came off to the sides, which is quite nice. I put that pan underneath it to prevent it from smoking and becoming a nuisance. That has two pieces there. Slide that guy over. Put this one here. And there we go. So, two other fan favorite flatbreads. Lobster and brie that was sauteed in butter, as if the lobster needs more butter, but it gives a good flavor. Then our vegan flatbreads with almond butter, roasted vegetables, and some dill. Excellent, so we just finished up our the most popular flatbread, which is our lobster and brie flatbread, which is amazing. It's always the biggest hit that our clients love. And then uh, our vegan flatbread, which is growing in popularity because we have many clients that want vegan and using almond butter as opposed to cheese really works well and some roasted vegetables and the dill adds a little kick to it. So I want to thank our Rugged Road uh, Outdoors as a sponsor of this show and it's a wonderful product, a lot better than the Yeti product. It's lighter and your ice will last longer in it. And then Cala Vida Extra Virgin Olive Oil is the only, you have to use extra virgin olive oil, and this is a phenomenal product in quality. And then these flatbreads wouldn't be as crispy and crunchy if it wasn't for baking steel. Those products are phenomenal. It will make your pizzas, flatbreads. I've done English muffins. I've seared lamb chop lollipops on there. Any kind of fish. It's just a, a super duper uh, item. So thank you very much.